Hi, this is Bentley with another quick video tip from H and H Color Lab. Today's tip is part three in a series on using custom shapes and styles to place a watermark on your image. Let's get started. So today we're going to write a Photoshop action to place our logo on our image. We're going to use the custom shape and style that we've created in the first two movies. Uh, as our logo to place on here and today we're going to start by writing the action. Writing and recording actions are fairly simple as long as you know the steps that you want to take place. As you can see on my screen right now I have my actions palette available along with my layers palette. If you don't see your actions palette you can come in Photoshop under window and just check next to actions and that'll make that active. Once you've created the action set you can create your first action and we'll do that by clicking on the new action icon which looks like a new layer or a new page icon and we'll call this action for vertical. Once I have the action named I can start recording the action and I'll just press record. Now I've already done some pre-planning on this action and there's a couple things that I know about and so I'm going to pass those tips on to you. First off, when I'm running this action, I need to do it on images that are all the same aspect ratio. So in this example, I have pre-cropped all my images to 4 by 5 The set of images that I'm going to run the action on are from different cameras, and so they're actually all different image sizes. They have different pixel dimensions. So I need to get them all to the same size. So the first thing that I'm going to do is run a file automate fit image command. Under fit image, I'm going to constrain my proportions, which means I'm going to make the longest dimension fit within 1500 pixels. It measures this in pixels, which I know will give me a good 4x5 at 300 pixels an inch. Because I'm using fit image, it's not going to matter whether my image is oriented horizontally or vertically. It's going to size it the same. The next thing that I'm going to do is just to help myself out is I'm going to stop recording the action and to do that I'm going to just press the square uh, stop record button and I'm going to bring in some guidelines on my action and I'm going to bring these in about three-eighths of an inch from either side now I've also measured my act or my custom shape and I'm going to use the fixed size measurement and I figured out that I want it to be 200 pixels wide. So I got to my custom shape by pressing the U key. Now I'm ready to start recording again and I've got my custom shape selected. I've got the shape that I want to use and I've also selected the style that I want to use. So I'm just going to press record. I'm going to click to add the shape. I'm going to align it using those guidelines that I placed on there and it will automatically apply that style and then I'm going to use uh, come to my layer and tell this to flatten the image. That's going to render that shape down into the background. Now I may continue to add steps to this action for example I might put a save as and close command in here so it automatically saves and closes my image but I don't want to do that in this step because I'm going to take care of that somewhere else. So all I'm going to do is press the stop recording to stop recording that section. Now we're looking at a horizontal image and I want to have the same things happen on my horizontal images as I just recorded for my vertical. So I'm going to start by making a new action and I'm going to call this one for horizontal. I'm going to go through the same steps that I did before. I'm going to go File, Automate, Fit Image, set that to the 1500 pixels. I'm going to stop recording, bring in my guidelines once again at approximately 3 eighths of an inch in from the left and the right, uh, the right side and from the bottom. I'll start recording again, press the U to go to my custom shape, verify that I have the right shape, the right style, place that down in that bottom corner again and then flatten my image one more time. Stop recording and now I have an action that's going to run on vertical images and on horizontal images 
and place my logo down in that bottom right hand corner just like that. Okay, I now have two images open, one that's horizontal and one that's vertical. And we'll run the action on each of these so you can see how quickly this will take place. I've started by uh, selecting my vertical image and I'm going to run that action just by pressing play. So as we'll go through, do the resize, place the logo on there and flatten it down. We can see that's happened here. I'm now going to select the vertical or the horizontal image and I'll run the horizontal action as well. So if we zoom up on both of those, there's the logo on the horizontal, there's the logo on the vertical. For the last video in this series, I'm going to show you how to modify a very simple Photoshop script that will allow you to grab a folder of images that has a combination of horizontal and vertical in there and tell Photoshop to automatically determine if the image is horizontal or vertical and place the, the custom shape in the appropriate position.